Hi everyone. I'm going to read you the book, The Three Little Pigs, today. But before I start, I wanted to show you this book came with some puppets. And if I open this up, I can take the puppets out. And they're finger puppets. If you stay on afterwards, here's one of the little pigs. Here's another of the three pigs. And another. Now, who do you think's missing from this story? You see who the, the fourth puppet might be? Did you say the big bad wolf? That's who it is. So I have the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. I'll be reading you that story. Stay on after and I'll show you how to make a sock puppet. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. When they were all grown up, they went off to build their own houses. Beware of the big bad wolf, Mama Pig warned as she kissed her piggies goodbye. The first pig was happy in his straw house until one day the big bad wolf came to town. Little pig, little pig, let me in, shouted the hungry wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, the pig replied. The wolf took a deep breath in and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew the straw house down. The surprised pig ran to his brother's twig house. The two pigs were very happy in the house of twigs, but one day the big bad wolf came to visit. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, shouted the hungry wolf. The pigs replied, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. The wolf took a deep breath in and said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew the twig house down. The frightened pigs ran to their sister's brick house. The three pigs were happy in the strong brick house. Then they suddenly heard the doorbell ring. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, cried the starving wolf. The pigs replied, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. The wolf took a deep breath in and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The pigs oinked with laughter. Oink, 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 oink. The big bad wolf huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed. Finally, the big bad wolf fell down. He was very hungry and very, very tired. The pigs opened the door and yelled out to him, Big bad wolf, big bad wolf, come in, come in, but do not eat us or the hair on our chinny chin chins. The wolf stood up and smiled with a grinny grin grin. The end, or is it? So I was putting on my sock the other day and I put my foot in and boop, my toe stuck through. So I knew I didn't want to wear these socks anymore and I thought I could use it for something. So if I put my hand in this sock and I don't put it the whole way in and then I fold in that part. Do you see how it kind of looks like a mouth? I'll tuck that in a little bit more. Hello! How are you? But I need some eyes for it, right? So let me make some eyes. I got just a little piece of paper and I'm going to draw circle eyes. 
two red circle eyes. And I think, you know how we have pupils in the middle of our eyes? I'm going to make a pupil in the middle of these eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to cut them out. And I hold, I put my fingers, see how there are two holes with these scissors? The top one is a smaller hole, the bottom one is larger. That's because the top hole is just for your thumb. The bottom hole is for a few fingers. See, I can fit three fingers in there. So that's how you cut. And your thumb is always pointed up to the ceiling. So I'm going to cut out these eyes. Now, when you put your eyes on your puppet, you might want to use glue if your grown-ups say that glue would be okay to use. It'll probably last longer if you use glue, but I'm not going to use glue today because I don't want to have to wait so long for the glue to dry. I'm just going to use some tape. And there's a special way. Some of the kids at school know this way. If you take tape and cut some off, and then curl it up kind of into a ball. Then it'll stick on both sides. So I can stick the tape on the back of the eyeball, but it's still sticky on the other side. So I'm gonna put that eye right there, and then I'll cut one more piece of tape. I will roll that tape up so the sticky side is on the outside stick it to the other eyeball, stick it to the sock. Okay, so now when I put my hand in, I think it's gonna look more like a puppet now. I'm having a tough time with that part. Hello everybody, my name is Hansel. Hansel the Sock. Do you think you might like to try to make one of those? Oh, there's my finger sticking out of that hole. See if you want to. If you don't want to, if you don't have any old socks, you could use a good sock if your grown-ups say it's okay if you just use tape. But if you're going to glue the eyes down, you probably want to use an old sock. And I was thinking if I had some old yarn, I could stick the yarn on to make hair. You could make it look very elaborate if you want to. I hope you have fun with that.